In this video, I set out on a quest to discover what is the smallest gap between two walls that you can walk through in Roblox. Let's get started. So we're going to start off in Roblox Studio where you can build games for Roblox. And I went ahead and created this very elaborate map. As you can see, I have all these different walls. If you would like to show your appreciation for how long it took me to create this map, you can go ahead and click the like button for this video. So some ground rules for this video is that I created the two walls so that there would be a certain amount of studs in between each wall. And I'm going to use the default Roblox avatar that you're given when you start a Roblox account. So if you've changed your avatar, I will, I'll show you that at the end if you change the avatar, what is the lowest amount of studs. So I'm gonna cue the elevator music and let's get started. So this is the first one, three studs between these two walls. And no problem, let's go ahead. And the next gap is measuring two studs. And it's a tight fit, but I was able to make it through. Now we have 1.8 studs. Now there's no way I can fit in here, right? So you can see there's no way. But if you know the trick with Roblox, if you go to the corner and then turn, you can walk through. So 1.8, no problem. 1.6 studs, impossibly narrow. Let's give it a shot. And then 1.5 studs. Okay, so I'm not able to make it through the 1.5 studs. So it would seem to be that 1.6 studs is the correct answer, but let's see. I'm going to go ahead and change this to a, a in between 1.5 and 1.6. So in order to do that, I'm going to stop the game. I'm going to work on the final part. And if you go to properties on the bottom, if you want to know how to do this in your own game, if you want to change the position, all you do is you go down to the transform and then position. So I'm going to change the position here. And let's go ahead and 1.59 studs. So now I'm in between 1.5 and 1.6. And it says 1.59. 1.59 was as low as I was able to get my avatar to work. Now, that is with the default avatar. Now, many of you know that you can change your avatar on Roblox. So I'm going to go ahead and go to roblox.com. And then in order to change my avatar, I go over to the menu on the left, the drop down, and then I'm going to click on avatar. And I'm going to, you can change the different accessories and things. And the torso is in the body here. Now, right now it's set on the classic torso. I think all of these are about the same size, but let's keep the classic torso. And then what we can do is go to body and then click on scale. And so now I can take the width of my torso and I can make it uh, slimmer. So you can see what it looks like there. And then I'm also gonna take my head and shrink that to 95% also. Okay, so now I have a skinnier avatar. So then when I go to play uh, my game, I'm able to walk through this one with no problem, right? I don't even have to do the, the trick. So with the skinnier avatar, I found that the distance is 1.3 studs. Now that you know what a default character can fit through in Roblox, and this will help you when you're building your games so that you, if you want someone to go through a tight passage, you know to not make it any skinnier than a certain width. I'm assuming that you are interested in building Roblox games. I actually have an entire beginner's course on how to build and script Roblox games by using Roblox Studio. If you use the promo code in the description, you'll get one of the lowest prices for the course. So my course is packed full with everything you need to get started in building your games. If you have any questions on this video, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll link to them around this video. If you enjoy this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.